and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be discussing how to land your first tech job this is regardless of if you're a developer so if you're trying to find a job in tech as a designer as a developer product manager whichever field you're in the things that i'll be discussing in this video will also apply to you because these are general tips that you can then apply to help you find your first job now how do you land a job in tech actually landing your first job as a developer or a designer or a products manager i'll be sharing with you three tips that would really help you and also sharing from other people's perspective what would help you land your first job the first thing I have to share here is that you should focus on a niche. This is very, very important because tech is, wow, tech is so large. There are so many different things you can, you can focus on in tech, but you can't do everything. It's not possible to do everything, right? I'll give you an example from a development perspective because that's where I am more skilled in, but this would also apply to different areas as well. In development, there are so many different things that you can focus on. There is front-end, there is back-end, there is DevOps. There is these various kinds of areas you can focus on. So as you're trying to look for a job, it would be very, very helpful to say, this is the kind of job I want to be a front-end developer. I want to be a back-end developer, right? And not just saying I want to do everything because it's not possible, especially now that you're just starting, it's always good to focus on a niche, grow your skills in that niche and tailor your job search to that niche, right? It's very, very important. Now, the second tip I have for you is that you should build your portfolio even before you want to start looking for a job. When do you know your job ready? When do you know your job ready? This is a very important question because I could start learning how to code like two weeks in two weeks and decide I want to apply for a job, right? When do you know your job ready? I would say you know your job ready when you feel comfortable enough to apply for that role. So if you find a role and you check the requirement for that role and you feel that, okay, you are able to do some of these things even if you're not able to do every single thing listed in that job application as long as you have confidence that you can learn on the job and you can do some of those things listed then i would say it's time for you to apply for that job right but that's not just um, the only thing you need to consider you also need to consider the fact that to be honest in the tech industry there isn't a lot of junior developer rules or junior designer rules or junior products manager like, like these rules exist right there are jobs for this right but it's not as um, popular as uh, say mid-level or senior so if there are like 5,000 junior developers in the market um, this is just a rough estimate if there are like 5,000 developers in the market there is like maybe 200 open entries or jobs for these developers so imagine 5,000 people trying to apply for 200 jobs right it's even more heartbreaking to see that some of these junior roles are asking you for one to two years of experience when you've been learning how to code for six months or you've been learning how to design for six months so how do you still stand out when you apply for these kinds of jobs? To be honest, some roles will tell you they need two years of experience for a junior developer role while you having six months apply and you can still get that job. So don't let that be a blocker to you getting a, your first job in tech, right? Don't let the listing or what specific years of experience you're asking for be a blocker to you. You just know that as long as you, you're feeling comfortable enough that you can apply for that job, then go for it. Now, aside from the ex years of experience, there are also other things that can make you stand out when you're trying to apply for these jobs. You can do the following things and they'll be very helpful for you. So the first one I'd like to mention is to create a portfolio. A portfolio of all of your previous work is very important to have because this is going to show the recruiter or the company that you're competence of the role you're trying to apply to and you're also optimistic to land that job so you can 
further improve yourself and improve your skills so it's always important to have a portfolio this portfolio could be a website that you built yourself or it could also be just something on your resume that you had added like the previous projects that you built with links to it will be very very helpful this part is very specific to developers and designers if you're a developer or a designer it's very important to share your work publicly so for developers it's also very important to have a github portfolio where you have all all the projects you've built in the past so that people can easily find you and find your work online as a designer it's also important to have a dribble portfolio where you post some of the previous jobs that you've done because this would therefore help you stand out in your job application it's very very important to take note of these things and also do them finally i would like to share um, the final tip i have for you which is um in preparation for interviews or for landing your first job you need to take note of the following the first one is to have or to craft a very good resume this is important because a lot of people neglect this part because they feel like who wants to see my resume when they can just see the work that I've done right but it doesn't work that way you need to have a good resume I already made a video once about crafting a great developer resume if you're a developer you should check it out I have it linked here but going back to the topic developer resume shows your work your experience and the things that you have to offer for the role now one thing that or one mistake that is very common in this area is that people don't put so much effort into making your de developer resume or your resume in general look great I'm guilty of this or I was guilty of this. I remember when I was looking for my first job, I had one resume that I literally sent to over 50 jobs and the resume was not even detailed enough, right? Looking back, I know that I would have done better because I did not know that it's also very important to have your resume tailored to the job you're trying to apply to. It's also important to have a cover letter so if you have a cover letter even if you're not asked to submit one it's also very important to submit a cover letter a cover letter is basically your pitch to get that job so telling them what you have to offer even if you don't have as much experience as they're asking for just telling them and putting your mind out and telling them that this is your dream job and you do anything to get it through your experience what you've done just it's literally you speaking your your mind to the recruiter right so make use of that uh opportunity to always craft a great cover letter and don't use one cover letter for 50 different jobs because these jobs are not the same right they have different um expectations from you so make sure you craft and um tailor each of your cover letters or resume to the specific job you're applying to. Now, always also remember that whenever you're applying for a job, it's very important to know more about that company. Like, do your due diligence, do your research, learn about the company, what they're about, so that when it's time for you to interview, you know enough to tell the recruiter, to tell the person that is interviewing you about the job or the company you want to work for, right? It's very important to also do this. Finally, this is the last tip I have. The tip is that you should always network. This is the area that I've seen the most results in, right? It's great to do everything that I've said, but it's also great to add this to it because this also helps a lot. Networking as a as a newbie in the tech industry is always important to to know how to do it might be some people might be like oh i don't like talking to people i like being in my own shell i don't like going for events i don't like doing that i don't like social media you might be like that but just do it because you have a goal in mind you're trying to land your first job so it's very important to note i for one utilize networking in my career and i have definitely benefited from doing it so i'm putting it out to everyone here to always network and there are different forms of networking networking doesn't necessarily mean you walking up to people introducing yourself even though you don't want to do that networking can be done in several different ways these are some of the ways that i've tried it and you can also utilize these ways to help you 
I'm very active on social media. So Twitter, I am very vocal about the work that I'm doing. On Twitter, I like to share my progress, my journey as a developer and this has made me build connections with people that are even more senior than me and people that can even help me in my career. So you should also utilize Twitter for things like this, sharing your work, talking about your journey and also sharing that you're looking for a job because I've seen a lot of people find their jobs your first job from Twitter. Also, LinkedIn is very, very important. LinkedIn has helped me also land a job before. So it's also important for you to make sure that your LinkedIn pop, um, profile, your LinkedIn profile is up to date and you're also trying to build connections with people on LinkedIn or with companies on LinkedIn. One helpful tip that I learned recently is just by searching we are hiring on LinkedIn, you come across a lot of profiles that are hiring for specific roles. I recently learned this, um, I think a week ago. So if you find a company that just raised funding, a company that just raised funding is always looking to hire more people. So if you find a company that just raised funding, keep your eye out on that company because they're going to be looking for new people to hire. So all of these things I've shared are ways that you can land your first job in tech. I hope you found them useful. To wrap up this video, I'll also like to share what other people said about this topic. So like I mentioned, I'm always, I'm very active on Twitter. So I asked my Twitter followers what advice they have for people that are trying to land their first tech job. And this is what they had to say. A lot of people shared amazing amazing advice and I would, I would want you to check it out so i would link the thread in the description box below but these are the ones that stood out for me i've said something about networking here but ella also feels the same way ella says as a developer you should number one always network number two you should create or make a portfolio and finally you should keep your linkedin profile updated another one i really like is the one from ibrahim he says don't let the bad news get you down be optimistic show how you can add value to the organization and stand out from the crowd he also says talk network network i've seen networking come up a lot in topics where they are discussing landing a job it's just so important like i can't overemphasize how networking has really helped me so i definitely recommend you do the same another one i really liked is from Opemipo and it says that you should reach out to companies that you want to work for this is usually called cold reach out and it works so if you find a company that you really really admire and you think that they have a slot for you or even if they don't have a slot for you just reaching out to the company and telling them why you want to work for them can also be a good way of landing your first job so doing cold reaches also also works so keep that in mind so i hope you find all of the tips that i've shared with you very helpful to help you land your first job and i also hope that you found the advice that i shared from twitter also helpful Don't forget to like give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you and i'll see you in my next video